so first uh, let's assume that you have a nice HRM installation with uh, a few employees there and uh, uh, yeah so then uh, what you need to do is to first uh, import Sri Lankan payroll configuration into your ICHRM installation for that uh, you can first go to ICHRM website and then click on user guide the uh, under the user guide you can under the part 6 you can find import export payroll so the it's under this section you can download payroll files uh, the this one is for I Sri Lankan payroll and uh, yeah, then you have to go back to your ICHRM installation, uh, go to uh, system, data, yeah, loading, okay, the import files, uh, add, okay, you can use whatever the name you want, and then you have to make sure that you select payroll data import. And then upload the file that you have just downloaded, which is Sri Lankan Payroll TXT. Open it. All right. Now save it. So now you have the unprocessed file. Go there and click on the process button. Okay. Files imported successfully. And um, now when you go back to the uh, payroll section if you go to the payroll reports you should be able to see the uh, new the uh, sample payroll report yeah it's there but the date is wrong uh, you have to clone it and change the dates uh, so under the payroll columns you can see the normal payroll columns required for Sri Lanka is already added and the calculation groups and yeah we have one calculation group you don't have to worry about it at the moment and uh, yes so so these these uh, these things uh, about the calculation groups calculation methods and the uh, payroll columns are actually covered under payroll management section with all these examples you can go through these things but to uh, to generate the payroll for Sri Lanka as we have already have the configuration you don't have to go through this guide you can uh, just import the uh, configuration and now I'm going to show you how you can use it so you already know that you or uh, you have three employees in the installation now I'm going to uh, under the payroll salary I'm going to add some salary information so you have salary component types and the salary components I'm only going to add the basic salary for all three employees so for an example let's say the first one just as, uh, two lakhs and ten thousand and uh, yeah and then the Second one, Kushan, I'll add the basic salary to like 11, 10k. Okay, now it's the third one. I'm going to add 75,000 just to demonstrate various calculations. So now, when you go back to the payroll report, actually, when you, you had to go to the payroll report and uh, if you try to edit, I'm not sure. Yes, you can change the date here. So you can go and change the date to 2018 August. Yeah, August 1st to 2018 August. Still pressed. So all the employees. So this is the salary, uh, the, the payroll frequency is monthly. So yeah, it's still a draft and uh, then what you need to do is that you need to add these employees into the company payroll so you're first going to add the, the admin and define the currency and 
yeah and or you can also select the calculation code so save and then the second one and there's one more thing uh, if you are uh, if you do not want to select the currency all the time you can uh, change that under the settings uh, third one all right now all three employees are in the uh, payroll I'm going to change the calculation group for these two because I forgot to select it right now when you go to the payroll reports you can now you have the employees on the payroll now you have all the payroll columns defined and now you have a payroll with the correct period and its status is draft so when the when the payroll is payroll status is draft uh, once you so now you can go ahead and open the uh, payroll report it will show you the process payroll report and uh, it's the most of the column seems correct but you can see that the LK salary to bank so that is the amount that will be transferred to the bank it seems like it's almost equal to the uh, the basic salary so this should not happen there should be something wrong with this calculation so I'm going to go back to the uh, payroll columns uh, so there might have been some problem with the uh, imported file I think the, the you can correct the problem here you can go to the last uh, column which is salary to bank and edit it so it says only at the gross pay but actually you need to subtract uh, total deductions from it uh, yes so if you look at the total deductions column you can see uh, the employee contribution for the EPF, the payee tax, and ALK stamp to do it. So, yeah, it seems okay. I'm going to save it. And if you go back to the payroll reports and click on the process again, now you can see that the correct salaries are there. Alright, so this is your payroll, and uh, now you can go ahead and download the CSV file if you want if you want to send it to your payroll provider or oh, you can uh, you can just click on finalize now the payroll the the once you finalize it you won't be able to uh, you won't be able to do automated calculations again but you can just and view the payroll and the other thing you can do is that uh, we already have a payroll payslip template defined your users can go to the user report section the uh, reports under the reports you can see the uh, download your payslip select the uh, payroll and uh, click on download okay so this is it so the the payroll basically is also here so it's not very pretty you can change the company name under the settings and company logo and uh, all these things so right now actually when you are defining the uh, payroll report i would suggest you to uh, name it appropriately uh, because that's what your employees will see when they're downloading their payroll Alright then, so 
this is how the sweet pumpkin payroll works